Hey everyone, uh, Peter from Argo. Thank you for the questions. Uh, I'm a little looking a little rough this morning. Sorry, I woke up early to shoot these. Uh, it's been a hectic week again, um, but let's jump right into it. So, um, Skeet Waginski uh, asks, how's West Texas? So West Texas is good. Uh, we're making really good progress. We announced recently in the RNS that we have the interconnection signed. Uh, that we have ordered some big transformers. There's other things going on in the ground and, and just kind of moving along in, in a whole bunch of different fronts. Basically in our heads, the, the West Texas project is broken down into three components. One is the, the building, the shell. Two is the, the electrical power, you know, both the high voltage, medium voltage and low voltage. And three is the immersion system. So of those, you know, there's different, the easiest is the shell of the building. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, the second, is, the probably the most complicated, is is the power, you know, because um, you do have to get from from this kind of high voltage right out of the out of the substation right down to the machine level. So that takes some engineering, obviously, and some planning and some special transformers that you have to order. So there's some lead time there. And the last is the immersion system. Perry's been working flat out to to build really the best in the business at a scale that hasn't been seen. Um, and the feedback from the partners we've been working with and people we've been talking to about it has been really good. So we're excited about all three of those things. Um, and maybe we'll get Perry on sometime soon to talk about the advantages of uh, the immersion kind of system that we're using versus you know air cooling, which is um, how most cryptocurrency facilities today are, are, are being or have been built and, and are currently running uh, the way in which they're running. Okay, John Wick. Hey, John. Uh, John's always good for a question or two. Hi, Peter G. Wall and team. How's everything with the Texas development? Any chance of some drone footage of the build? As always, stay safe and thank you to your team for working around the clock. I, as well as thousands of other traders, traders really do appreciate it. Thank you, John. Um, we, I appreciate your, your, you being a shareholder and always a asking interesting questions. Um, so I just gave an update on Texas drone footage. Uh, absolutely. As soon as we, you know, have something to share, uh, we'll we'll do it. Um, we're going to document the Texas bill just like we we you know documented our story so far. I hope you like the little mini doc we put out. Um, we're going to use the same team that shot that made that a team out of Toronto um, to uh, to make to tell the story in Texas. So that's going to be uh, something to keep an eye out for. I don't know if we're when exactly how that's going to come out or if we're going to do drone you know put out footage as we go hopefully sooner rather than later we'll have something to show in terms of visuals coming out of texas but um yeah we're going to do a great job you know documenting it and sharing it um with shareholders luis cervantes luis is always good for a question as well what does this mean for argo quote governor of texas called the state the mecca of bitcoin and now has put his money where his mouth is signing uh, Bill HB 4474. Look, I think there's no doubt that Texas is really turning into a mecca of Bitcoin. There's something called the Texas Blockchain Council or something along those lines, um, like, a, like a blockchain group setting up in Texas, a lobby group or a, a trade group. Uh, Argo's part of that. Um, there is lots of other miners moving there. Um, you know, there's just lots of energy in Texas right now, both in actual energy and in, you know, momentum around uh, being a, a place for crypto um, to, to flourish. So that's great. Um, part of it's the power you know, system. Part of it's the, the friendly government that is encouraging uh, crypto to, to, to move there. Um, so we're excited to be working in, in Texas. Um, the, the, uh, the other thing that's significant for us is the local government, the municipal government where we are, um, the county government is, um, is also very supportive. So it's nice to have you know, support at both the, the state level and, and the, uh, the county level. All right, Kaylee Robinson. Argo, everything I'm aligned with, a new movement to change the financial sector and green clean energy, which in this fast paced race will further, will search further eco developments and technologies. Uh, thank you, Kate. I don't think, uh, Kaylin, Kaylee, I don't think a, um, I don't think a question there, but um, I appreciate um, you throwing that in. All right, Sven. Um, at SKLDN3, can you give us some insight into discussions held as part of the Bitcoin Mining Council meetings with Michael Saylor and Elon Musk and the other North American miners? Do you feel frustrated with Elon's anti-Bitcoin tweets given this collaboration effort? Um, so on Elon, you know, Elon's going to be Elon. Um, 
I think there's less uh, traction or less, you know, in terms of his effect on crypto is that's going dimish to diminish over time as people, you know, get used to the fact that um, he's got mixed thoughts about it. I know he is a supporter of Bitcoin, um, but does have these energy concerns. He sometimes has a funny way of, uh, you know, expressing it. But, um, you know, there's lots of people in the Bitcoin community who are frustrated with, with, with inconsistency around, you know, his feelings about Bitcoin, but it is what it is. Uh, in terms of the Bitcoin Mining Council, uh, Argo's been, you know, right in there and and, uh, and involved with with the meetings and and uh, working with Michael Saylor to to get it off the ground. Um, it the the concept is really just to do three things. One is to be an education uh, platform, uh, an education group to be able to share ideas about you know the benefits of of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. The second is to gather, you know, um, and energy data, uh, just data in general about mining so that we can then speak more, uh, you know, all miners can speak more intelligently and more uh, from a point of, of data about Bitcoin mining. Uh, and then the third um, is to, you know, share best practices. And so to have, you know, an open forum where people can communicate, miners can communicate. Um, and uh, and some of that's already been happening with with the the North American founders, um, so it's it's great. It's a it's a good thing. It's a decentralized group in a decentralized economy. It's really an open you know group that any Bitcoin miners can join, um, and uh, and the feedback's been really good so far. So we're we're excited to be part of it. Obviously, working with Michael Saylor um, has been you know informative and and interesting and engaging. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, you know, uh, the, the, the ecosystem as a whole continuing to develop in this really kind of open and, and decentralized and um, collaborative way. Um, obviously, everyone's independent within the group doing their own thing, competitors even, you could say. Um, but uh, there is, uh, there's, there's value in, particularly when there's lots of FUD out there, there's value in sometimes coming together and having discussions. Um, with you know miners of all sizes and shapes. Um, all right, Peter G. Wall, what is the sentiment of the Bitcoin Mining Council towards joining the Crypto Climate Accord or using it as a baseline protocol in green Bitcoin mining? Um, so the the Crypto Climate Accord um, has been well received. Actually, one of the members, you know, has our, I've already talked to them about you know joining the Crypto Climate Accord. In general, um, you know. There's different opinions on from different miners out in the world about you know their ESG concerns. Obviously, Argo has been very uh, you know straightforward about the fact that we believe that you know mining should be moving more towards renewables. That's the direction we've taken our company. I'll tell that to anyone anytime. Um, in terms of whether other folks on the you know on the Bitcoin Mining Council, and again, it's open to any miners are going to you know join the Crypto Climate Accord. I hope so. I'm I'm an advocate of it. Uh, you know, we were one of the first signatories. So uh, you know whether it will become a baseline protocol, I, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of different competing groups out there right now trying to you know promote renewables uh, in in cryptocurrency. So it's early days in the space, um, but uh, you know accords. You know, agreements and commitments like the Crypto Climate Accord are significant, and you know we're we're a fan of of, uh, of promoting them. All right, Chris, the money multi bags at crypto, at Chris the money, nice handle. Uh, Peter G. Wall, have you ever met Elon Musk uh, for a cold beer, or or are you planning to? I have not met Elon Musk for a cold beer, um, nor am I planning to. Um, my contact was really just that one time uh, on the uh, on the, the the call with the other North American miners. All right, an email question from um, John Butt. Uh, John wrote, "Hi Peter, I understand you're doing another Q and A. I'm concerned that Elon Musk's intervention may not be a good thing for the miners specifically, and that he intends to enter our space using his technology. What are your thoughts? Thanks a lot, John." Um, I, I don't. I don't think that from anything I've heard, Elon has any interest in in Bitcoin mining. Uh, I don't think it's on his radar, John. Um, you know whether there's and people have been asking about solar panels and batteries, and I have no insight really into his plans around that or anything else. Okay, next question is from Hugh um, at K N W L Y P Y P W L Y. I'm not sure how to say that. 
If you had to pick between the Great Wall of China, Mark Wahlberg, the Berlin Wall, Drywall, Wall E, Oasis's Wonder Wall, or Peter G. Wall, which would you choose? Uh, okay, Hugh, a, a very uh, interesting question <laughs> here. Uh, lots of walls in there. I've been to the Great Wall. I've seen Mark Wahlberg. Um, I, you know, of all of these, actually, I'm going to go with the, the Gallagher Brothers, the uh, uh, Wonder Wall, uh, because that's a song back from when I was in my 20s. I remember listening to a lot in the summer of 1996. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it brings back some nostalgic times. Um, so yeah, who doesn't like that, the Wonder Wall? And the Gallagher Brothers is all, are always good for some drama. Um, so I'm gonna go with that one. All right, last question for this video uh, is from ArbFC, at ArbFC. Of course, ArbFC is the uh, Argo football club that we sponsored uh, with their kit. Uh, the question from them, probably from Jake, is has the shirt we sent arrived yet? And actually, hang on, there's just the camera. Actually, Jake, it's funny that you should ask this because just this week, uh, the I got a package in the mail with the ARB, Arb FC, the official Arb FC jersey. And it's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty, pretty sweet. I wore it around the house a little bit, and the kids liked it. And there you, there you have it, the official Arb, Argo football jersey, Arb FC. Very, no, no number on the back, just, you know, uh, just the straight Argo in the front. So there you go. Okay, that's video number one. Thanks, everyone, for your questions.